Welcome guys back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a flashlight in Maya with uh, this kind of effect. You can see the light source here and you can see how it shines around here. And I'm also going to show you how to make some interesting things like this, this pattern that we can see here. Um, so um, if this is kind of the things you like, uh, I, please you can consider subscribing to my channel and also uh, uh, click the notification bell and give it a thumbs up it helps the channel grow and so let let's get into Maya and let me show you uh, what happens here so this is the scene that I've done that the one I showed you so what, what I can do is let me render this so that you can see uh, what we did and also I'm gonna delete everything and then I will show you how I did everything from scratch so let's have a render so what we can do is uh, we go to um, and go to render here and you can see it's rendering my perspective but I've already set my render cam here so I'm gonna render that one so this is how it's coming out so let's give it a minute to finish rendering and let's see how it looks like before we we get on to start doing everything from from scratch okay so this is the render that this is the, how the render came out and uh, you can see we have some noise here but that's okay we can fix it later on so let me show you how I did everything here okay so we have this light here that we are using just to illuminate the object here the flashlight itself and I have a simple plan here right here and also uh, this is this is the lights that we use to create that that fog effect okay and here I have my camera you can see it's somewhere just hiding by itself right there so you can create the camera here and this is camera where you can create it so this is how I created it so what we can do is I'm gonna delete everything so this is the whole I have all, all the lights that I use here I just delete everything we have to recreate all of them so and uh, for this uh, ground plane let me just hide it so i can show you the all the elements here so this is the light the flashlight that we're going to be using let me give it in simple material so you can see let me give it a lambert so this is how it is i modeled it so what you can do you can if, if you want to follow along you don't want to do the modeling you can go to everycg.com i'm going to upload this there you can download it and you can follow along with me so here we also have let me give it also another material you see this is this is the the lens the glass that that is covering our flashlight so if i put that away let me just uh, if I put that away here you can see we have a reflector right here and we have this uh, our light source okay that is like uh, the bulb that's showing the light source okay so um, I don't want to remodel all those things all, all of them one by one so but if you want I'm gonna upload this thing so you can download all of them okay so let's um, let me reset this one and also you can see this oh, sorry about that you can see this one it has this red thing here uh, like if you look at it there's this red uh, outline here this is because we made this mesh um, a light source okay so and once you did that Maya will attach a light to it so let me also delete that one so I will show you how I'm gonna remake everything from from scratch so let me so basically this is this is the the whole thing the whole scene how it looks okay so let me I didn't want to bother you um, remodeling everything one by one is gonna waste time you probably know how to model it but just for a quick uh, follow-up you can just download it I'm gonna put the link below so you can download it if you want to or you can model yours okay so let me 
let's start from the beginning here so what i'm going to do is uh, i will create a ground plan so we can use it to catch some shadows okay so this is gonna be the plan that we're gonna be using i'm gonna also give it a um ai material so let's call it this one a floor all right so let's uh, just leave it as it is and for this one so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna also give it uh, also um ai material as well so just come down here give it that one and let's name it flashlight and for this one let's give it a like um, this pre-existing material here the, this preset something like this but i don't seem to like this color so much maybe just make it change the color like so so and for this one what we can do is let's just give it a um also this one and uh, let's call it glass and we can just also give it a, this glass preset here where is it um, glass glass um, right here so you just give it a glass material and for our the bulb that we'll be will be be using here so it's also a lamp um, um anode material let's give it the same material let's and we'll let's call this one light bulb and uh, we will leave it as it is and what we can do is later on we'll, we'll make it a light source okay so um our light is here our glass is here so let's try to shoot a render here to see how it looks let's our of course there's no light in the scene so what we can do is let's now create um my uh, anode light area light and we can just increase it and rotate it like this i like to keep all my rotation like 90 degrees so i know where they are facing so minus 90 degrees so we move it back a little bit and also give it another rotation minus 90s i just wanted to illuminate only this my flashlight uh, so I can increase it a little bit like that let's go to top view to make sure yeah we are covering that and just something like this will be fine and also I think maybe move it up a little bit I think this will be okay so let's give it another render Maya will always choose the diff the perspective view as the default. So our light, we have to let's call it feel light. Actually, give it a name, feel light. And we don't see anything happening here because we need to increase the um, exposure here. Let's make it something like eight. See, we're beginning to see that so what you can see i have my um, environment here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna disconnect that as well so what we do we come here this is the environment we just break that connection i will show you how to do that in a minute so let's render again it's, you can see this is our light here it's coming out so let's maybe give it more exposure to like 12 okay see now we are having a good light 
here on our scene so what the next thing we need to do is i'm gonna reduce it to like 10 or something yeah this will be fine so the next thing we need to do is let us grab our i'm going to disable this this glass for a minute just hide it and just grab this our light source here and i'm going to make it a light source so you just go to anon you go to light and give it mesh light so you can see now the the red has been created again right it's become that red outline it's been created right there so let's bring it back and uh, we're gonna be adjusting that so select it and it doesn't nothing is happening right now let me go back to my so what we need to do is also increase the exposure of that you can see i'm increasing that right there so and we don't see we don't see the the light itself because we need to turn on um light visible here so when, when we turn it on then we can see that our light if you don't turn it on very important except you just like it like this but if not i think you need to click that so you can see your light light source because that's how light behaves in in real life so let's go back to our uh, render cam here and i'm gonna bring back the lens the glass so what we need to do is and our glass is back okay so we don't see that fog happening here so what we need to do now is we need to create another Maya light that will help us to uh, generate that fog effect that we are seeing so we can do that with another another light can use area lights and this is the light we are gonna be using and let's increase it a little bit and also we're gonna rotate it so let me go to here and position it a little bit let's give it minus 90 minus 90 and position it right there and you can see our light is not it's, it's in square this is this we do this will be fine but I like to make it uh, uh, like a cylinder so you can go and change it to like sorry not cylinder um, a disc so you have it like that which is the shape of our our flashlight here so let me position it a little bit more properly here and make sure maybe rotate it that and just push it a little bit like this so right now when we think this is fine good so let's try another render and see how it is um, click that nothing is happening let us increase the let's make it something like 15 you can see oh that's too much let's make something like nine and see we are having some light source but that's not what we are going after so what we can do now is to to be able to create that fog here we need to create an environment okay so to do that let us go to our uh, render settings here and we go to environment and here we can just click and here we'll create environment uh, AI 
atmosphere volume so when we create that let's try to render and see what happens let's go back to our render settings here you see nothing seems to happen and because we don't have any density you see now that we we have increased this one we are beginning to have density i think we can make it uh, 0 0.1 and wow it's is blowing up the whole place so i will tell you how to fix this one so what we need to do first is let us adjust our field light i think the the exposure is too much if we bring it dial it down a little bit and also dial down this our fog light here then we'll begin to see the effect of you can see we are beginning to see that effect let me increase this one again to like maybe five maybe make it a little bit more let me, let's increase the intensity here a little bit maybe three so we can see our light itself and maybe this one make it seven i just want us to see the our flashlight here so maybe seven is too much maybe six maybe do this one 3.5 okay so and for this our fog light so what we can do is also increase it to like six so we can you can see is now we are beginning to see that that fog effect let's increase this one to like two sorry too, so we can see the the fog is forming here but the spread is too much that's why it's spreading all over the place so we can narrow it down a little bit here you adjust it here and maybe increase it again to like seven <coughs> excuse me Let's see. You see, you can reduce it like this if this is what you are going for, something like that. And I think our exposure is quite intense here. I just want to reduce it a little bit. Okay, I think it's coming out fine and what we can do is let's introduce light temperature so um light temperature if you go to google let's go to google and see you see if you go to google here and you type uh, color temperature chat so let's go to image and you can see the 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 color of the lights for example let's open this one you can see 4000 you get something like this 5000 you get this kind of yellowish lights and 6000 is kind of a daylight kind of color so let's if you check this one also so you can experiment with uh, different kind of uh, uh, color temperature and see the one that really works well for you so so what we can do here is let's go check something like adjust this one if you bring it down like this the lower the number the warmer the color gets so let's find something that we're happy with maybe 7000 to code maybe 6000 something like this maybe it's fine maybe let's increase it a little bit yeah something like this would be good okay so this is um, I think this is looking good but the problem now is that we are not having that light patterns here just near here to show the the the, the pattern of the lights that we are creating here so let's create that kind of the that effect let's add that effect so to add it 
we need to use a different kind of light let's go to another light and we use this photometric light so let us move it up here and rotate it maybe just a bit like that and maybe like this is fine let's render again to see how it looks see we don't see anything happening right there so what we need to do we need to plug in uh, a file to this uh, photometric light so so when you click on the light and you can see this uh, you can click on this file here so you can be able to select all different kinds of light I already downloaded this uh, IES light you can just go online and uh, search for let's say let's go to google and uh, here you can type ie slides something like that let's click on this one so you can see probably this one right here let's see ies library You see this is I think this is a, a good one and it actually shows you how all the lights looks like you can just download them I have I have mine already downloaded but this site I think is a very good one okay and also you can see how it shows you how the light patterns are and for me I have a file that I use I just downloaded it. it's called IES viewer so it shows you it's, it's a little software that i that i use that shows how to um how, shows how the lights designs are for example you can look at this one you can see how it is see the, how this one is looking here if you want to see them live you can see just click on that you can see that you see how this one is you see this this light here you see this is how it is these are very nice when you are doing interior design you want you want some light to flash on your some light patterns to show on your walls so you can just use this kind of light you know see this one when you do it instead of facing down it faces up this is how the design is see this this how this one looks like you see that one is nice i think this is the one where we are going to be using here so let me close that and we'll be we'll click on this one and select it so now that this light is connected we also can use the same light pattern okay so let us try to render to see how it looks let's go back to our you can see we're beginning to see some light patterns right there so what we need to do is to increase the intensity a little bit um, and then increase the exposure as well maybe too much so we don't want to lose that that light pattern right there so let's see how it looks I'm going to render this region here to see okay this is our pattern is is coming out very nicely there so let's yeah I think I like the color the way it is Let's give it a minute okay so uh, I think my render settings is a little bit high right now it's slowing down our we just want to go as fast as possible just for test renders so this is how it's coming out okay well, I think what I can do is I want to raise this light a little bit maybe put it up a little bit and rotate it just a little bit so that it shows from the beginning where that our okay good this is i like i like the way it is there right now 
I think this my flashlight here is too narrow so what I can do is I'm going to increase the spread a little bit just to give it some spread okay something like this is good because it's too narrow like that see if depends on the kind of uh, effect you are going for I think for me I'm gonna make it something like point zero point one four five so what we're gonna do now is let us increase maybe if this feel light is too let's make this one 6.5 so we can see our object here a little bit more so I think this is looking good I'm just gonna bump up my render settings again and then close it and then let's shoot a final render and change our camera and let's give it a minute to render and let's see how it looks I think we are having a lot of noise here I just gonna stop this render and uh, increase the samples on the light so for this one this is our field light let's increase the sample here to like four and also for this one let's increase it as well to like four or five and even this our photometric light here um, we can just increase I think we can leave this one the way it is here or maybe increase just give it something it's not it's not contributing too much so what we need to do just give it a, a little bit of uh, samples there and let's try again change our camera and let's give it minute to render I'm gonna pause the video and then I'll be back when the render is finished so the render has finished you see how it's looking and uh, I find out while it was rendering that the intensity for this our light source here is not uh, good enough you can see our reflector here is still looking dark so but I just wanted to finish rendering and uh, you can see our light pattern here it's coming out nicely and you can see the fog light is uh, the effect of our light is fine so what we can do is um, I'm gonna stop that rendered right there and what I can do is to increase the the intensity of that our light right there okay so let us see I'm going to grab it from the outliner here and I'm gonna increase the exposure to like maybe increase the intensity to like three let's see how it looks and let's render that okay now you see we have a good intensity right there because normal normally you won't see reflectors so clearly like that you're gonna see a little bit like burnt like that like a burnout effects maybe it's too much let's make it two to see yeah maybe something like this will be really fine so really depends on the effect you're going for so it's it's up to you you can leave it the way it was or you can increase the intensity so that it can feel as if the light inside there is intense or something like that or you can just look at uh, photos references to see how um, the lights they all behave and you can try to replicate it so this is how you get this kind of effect in Maya please don't forget to uh, subscribe and uh, I will see you again in the, in another tutorial thank you and bye bye